but it does allow me to still keep an eye on the pond. And then the final job is to put the leaf netting on. So I get rid of all of that. And then the next job I did was to cut the lilies back. Pond vac whilst I'm in the pond, because it's just easier to get into all the nooks and crannies. Hello, vlog time again. Um, I apologise right from the start. I've got a, a lozenger in my mouth as I talk. I do apologise, it's a bit rude, isn't it? But I've got a really sore throat. I've just recorded some narration for episode 114, um, which I'm gonna edit alongside editing this one. Um, and I've got another video I've finished editing that I've scheduled to release. I'm churning them out. It's amazing. Not getting a huge amount of views, but I'm enjoying it and that's the important thing. Right, enough waffling. Um, what I've been up to? Well, actually done some stuff. I think in my last vlog, I talked about putting the new UV in. Um, that was successful, that's working, that's great. Um, it's hard to tell what effect it's having on the pond, it's kind of the wrong time of year, but we will see. Um, right, but it's a really horrible day today. So I will show you in a minute as predicted, <coughs> um, some sort of speeded up time lapsey video of stuff I got done yesterday with my son, which is the big job coming into autumn. And I will turn you around and show you what that is. There you go. So the pond has got its leaf netting on, as you can see. And as you can see from what's already fallen on it from in about 20 hours, um, that's why it was time to put it on. There was increasing amount of leaves in the pond and yeah, it's a pain. And if you don't know, that's where they all come from. That beast of a tree there, which I love in the summer. I love it when it's there. It really makes you feel that you're not so much part of a housing estate. There's nothing wrong with housing estates. I'm proud to be living in a housing estate, but it just gives you that kind of feeling that you're in amongst nature more. So I love it in the summer. But in the autumn, it's a pain, hence the leaf netting. So, there's a few jobs I do when I put the leaf netting on. The first is, um, I, do, I did a bit of my normal cleaning, which is to take the pump out, have a look, clean it out, get everything off the cage, because that's quite important, because it does build up. It's a bit of a pain, but I don't mind getting in the pond to do it. Then I do some cleaning around where the pump is and a bit of pipe that it's hard to sort of dig bits of dirt and leaf and detritus out of. So I get rid of all of that. And then the next job I did was to cut the lilies back. Now, as you might be able to see in this, they were looking a bit ropey anyway, but I probably, if I wasn't putting the leaf netting on, I'd probably leave them longer. But as I am putting the leaf netting on, and it's gonna be on till at least Christmas, if not the first or second week of January, is when I usually take it off. Um, I need to cut them back now because they will just start decaying and you don't want that in your pond and it'll be a pain to do it when the leaf netting's on. So cut them back. I've got this amazing PVA um, stick, as you can see, with an old kitchen knife on, that I, which is really useful because I can put tension on the stems and then cut them nice and neat down at the bottom of the baskets, which is really good. Um, I think the rudder would be a bit sad if fish can be sad because, um, they'll no longer be able to, what's the word? They'll be no longer be able to sort of hide in amongst it. And that's when they spend a lot of their time, as you'll see in a video that's coming out of the weekend. Um, so yeah, after I did that, I did some more tidying up with the net and getting some of the big stuff because my pond vac isn't great picking up leaves out of the pond. And then I do something I only really do once a year. And that's I do some pond vacking, maybe twice a year actually, but, Sorry, waffling. Um, I, I pond vac whilst I'm in the pond because it's just easier to get into all the nooks and crannies. Um, and it means um, I can use less bits of pipe on it, which I think makes the pond vac more efficient. 
because when I'm pond vacuuming normally, I have to have all the pipe on reach into the back of the pond and it doesn't work so well. So yeah, so that's what I did. And then I cut back the plants and I cut them back very messily and I really hacked away at them because this is only really about getting them lower than where the netting's going to be. And you will see over the next couple of months, some of them do grow a little bit and they start to poke up through the netting a little bit, but it's really just to get them below that. Um, and again, if you don't know, when the netting's off, kind of December, January, that's when I cut them back even more. So I cut them back down to water level. And I just find over the years that um, they grow back neater and stronger when I do that. Um, so yeah, it's just something I, I do and I, I will continue to do. And then the final job is to put the leaf netting on, which um, uh, I don't know if you can tell from this, um, yeah, was was a little bit, was a, we put it around the wrong way and then we had to flip it over. Now, as you can see, it's a bit messy at the front. And I've, I have toyed with over this year, this year and last year, of cutting it right to the top. So the top of the post by the rope, just so it looks neater. But actually that would make things more difficult when putting it on. And also, I obviously, I unhook it and peel it back a bit when I'm cleaning the pond or when I'm just wanting to have a closer look. Oh, I forgot something else I did. I also dropped the camera down. I think you might have already seen that. But yeah, I dropped the camera down, which is normally... Um, where are we? It's normally there on the shed and it's now under the netting. And I will show you a bit of a, a, bit of a clip of that. Um, what you can see from that now, so obviously the view's not as good, but it does allow me to still keep an eye on the pond, which is obviously very important. So that's really my pond now for, as I say, for the next two or three months, um, which isn't great. What is great this year though, is last year, this was all pebbles where that path is and all around the other side. I'm not going out because it's wet and I don't want it. Um, and picking the leaves up off pebbles is a nightmare. But this year, it would just be a case of having a bit of a sweep. Much, much easier. So I'm delighted with that. I mean, it's not the best paving job in the world, but you know, it will make my life easier in autumn and that's great. And yeah, I've, now, I've also got a, um, some guttering in the shed, very hokey guttering, which has got leaf netting on, which is good. So yeah, I'm pretty happy. It went really well. There was no disasters, no problems. And then I finished cleaning the pond, but I, I didn't video that. Um, I think there's a larger video um, that goes through what I do pre-autumn, uh, pre winter time. And I will link to it if I can remember what number it is. And I'll put that on for later. So that doesn't mean now my, my pond is all wrapped up. And I, and I would say it's, this isn't a, protecting it from the weather. It does do a little bit of protecting from the weather, but this isn't why it's there. It's purely there for leaves. This is not about keeping the temperature. My pond's between 11 and 12 degrees at the moment. Um, I think the lowest temps we've had have been two degrees in the air temps, but my pond is hanging around 11 or 12. I'm still feeding the fish. Um, and they seem pretty happy with life, to be honest. So all good. Um, yeah, I think that's about it really for this, this vlog. I haven't got up to much in the garage. I will show you the garage because it's traditional my vlogs to show you the garage. Yep, it's a mess. Um, I'm still doing that one little job that I've got planned. I haven't really got any further with that, with my woodworking. Um, but yeah, it's there. I haven't even tidied up my tools properly from doing the, um, um, the UV. Terrible, 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 terrible. I know, awful. I'm really lazy. But as I said in previous ones, um, I'm pretty much fully working now. Although I tend to have more days off than in other jobs because I do longer days. I do long day shifts. So, um, But I'm fully working now and work kind of hits. And also, you know, you need money to do jobs and I've run out of free stuff. So, yeah, there we go. Anyway. Thanks very much for watching this. It's a bit of a quick one, but um, all good. Oh, one thing I didn't notice. Now, um, didn't notice, didn't tell you. When I was um, in the pond, this came to visit me.
yeah, a robin. It was really nice. And um, I was kind of willing my cats not to come out because, as you may know, if you follow the channel, especially the vlogs, um, my cats are one in particular, but both of them really are really, really proficient hunters. But I think robins tend to be a bit smarter than pigeons and a bit faster. Um, I was kind of hoping it, it <laughs> the cats didn't come out. Um, now, when I dug the pond originally and when I re-dug it sort of three years later, um, I had a robin come and just sort of sit next to the pond every day when I was digging and I would throw it worms as I found them. And it was, yeah, it made digging a pond much more enjoyable, to be honest. Um, so, yeah, it was nice to see it come back. I don't know why. I mean, it wasn't the same robin, but, you know, it was, it was quite interesting. It sees a human partially below ground and feels there must be worms. That's really taking a leap of logic there. Anyway, that'll do for now. Um, yeah, as I say, I, I fixed the UV that, um, and put a new bulb in. So that's all gone well. Everything is tickling along lovely, which I really like. Um, if you don't know, um, what I really want, for my, my, my plan for the next, I don't know, three years of this pond is to do nothing. <laughs> do nothing in terms of developing things or, or anything. I just want this pond to just mature. I want the filtration to mature. I want the fish to mature. Um, and I just want it to just cruise. No disasters, no problems. Now, I would hope in the future, maybe I could afford some shinier new filtration that would be less manual labor to clean. But um, yeah, that's a little bit pie in the sky. But I'm, yeah, I just want this pond to just mature, 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 mature. And the fish, and probably me too. I probably need to grow up. But anyway, I'm really waffling now. Thanks very much for watching this quick vlog. Please check out my channel if you've not watched before, because I am uploading quite a lot of videos. There's kind of broadly three different types. There's episode videos, which tend to be in more detail and have more information in them. And I tend to do a narration and they tend to be about a topic. I have these vlog ones, which are just kind of an update video. And it's more me face to camera and doing this sort of stuff and not scripted in any way or planned, which I probably should plan them a little. Um, and then there's long clip videos which tend to be at the moment underwater videos so it's just looking at the fish um not really with any sort of analysis although i might do that kind of video over time but they just if you like look watching fish underwater looking cool i do so um yeah so there's broadly speaking three of them coming out at the moment and i think that's that's quite a good way of doing it and separating them out as you may know i'm on the road to a thousand subscribers and at the time of making this video I am at 960, so I am 40 away. Yeah, I think I was a bit quick that time. We shall see in the edit. I could pause me, slow me down, it's all good. Um, yeah, so if you like this video, please like, please subscribe, please comment, please share, all of that. And thanks again very much for watching, and I will see you next time.